Hey, what's up guys, it's DFR Stance, and today we're working on a little side project for Automotive Mecca. He got some 15 inch model block wheels he uh, sent to us, and he wants them restored, so let's get started. The first preparation of restoring the wheels is getting them real clean so we can dip them in the acid. We don't want to get all this contaminants inside the acid, so we're going to go ahead and pressure wash these. Also, you're gonna make sure to remove any wheel weights. You just take a flathead screwdriver, pry them off. Now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and take the valve stem core out. And we're going to de-beat the wheel now. that bead over. Now we have the wheel off, it's that simple. We're gonna go ahead and remove this valve stem now. We're gonna just take a razor blade, slice the back of it right there, and pull the core out from the front. Be careful not to cut yourself. Got the valve stem out, it's no good, so we'll toss it. Now, the wheel's ready for acid. The next step of the process is taking our wheel and submerging it into acid. You do not want this on your hands or anything. This acid is highly corrosive and crazy. I'll show you how fast this thing strips. We'll give it one spin. We'll let that sit for five minutes.
Okay, now that we have this in here for some time now, we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick spin and see what it looks like. You can see how it came right off. This stuff is very, very dangerous. Make sure you use all your personal protective equipment because I've had this shit on me and it will eat your skin so fast, it's not funny. Almost had to go to the hospital because of this. All right, so we'll let this other half soak and then we'll go ahead and pressure wash the acid. So the rim is nice and stripped now. We're gonna get ready to pull it out, give it a nice pressure wash and start the decontamination process. The wheel out the acid. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pressure wash it. So the next step after we pressure wash the wheel is to use acetone and remove all the possible contaminants from the wheel and place it in the oven, heat it up to 400 degrees, make sure the metal's at 400 degrees. After we get up to 400 degrees, we're going to go ahead and pull it out and start powder coating the wheels. We're at 400 degrees now, guys. We're at 418. So we're going to go ahead, pull this wheel out and get to powder coating it.
They work out for you? Yeah, we're great. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a, a, a do-it-yourself will restoration in your garage with simple tool video. <laughs> People are going to watch this video and be like, what the fuck? There's no way I could do this myself in my fucking life. <laughs> All you need is a little bit of mafia acid to start. Some basic hand tools. A tire machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody got fun of us. Yeah. I'm about to piss people off. Did you head down to your local tire shop? I may have so many thumbs down on this video. So now that we have the powder coat on the wheel, we're gonna go ahead and leave it in the oven for 10 minutes. So the wheel's been in here for 10 minutes now. We're gonna pull it out and see what we have. All right, well there we have it. Get this thing all closed up. We got one more to do. So you don't want to cool this down with any type of water or anything like that. You want it to naturally cool down. So we're gonna go ahead and let it naturally cool down. Usually it takes about 15 minutes to cool down. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead to our tire machine and we're gonna place the wheel on the tire machine. And we're going to go ahead and clamp it down. So now that the wheel is clamped down, the next thing to do is grab our brand new valve stems. So we'll take the valve stem, we'll lubricate it. I just use soapy water, nothing special. Make sure you remove the valve stem. Do that. Put the, feed the valve stem in. Screw this on. These come in handy if you're putting on a valve stem. That way you don't get the pliers in. I had pliers all the time. And I'll pull like fucking crazy and sometimes the valve stem will snap and it'll hit the wheel and I'll fuck the wheel up. So I went and got one of these tools and they work excellent. I actually love it. Tested it out on a rim that I wasn't using and you go ahead and pry that up. And we're done. Make sure the back is all seated. From this point on, we'll go ahead and grab our wheel. Take the soapy water, lubricate the wheel. I like to lubricate the wheel as well, the rim. Cause sometimes it's, you gotta stretch these tires on. So I'll lubricate that as well. Get this real soapy. Force it down on here. I mean, a lot of weight. These tires are stretching on. So I have an expensive machine at my house. So I'm able to use, utilize my machine for this part. Otherwise, you can struggle. And I'll see if I get this in a shot. So yeah. I'll go ahead and use my machine right here. And you'll see, I'll, I'll keep pushing down on that. Rotate it a little bit, right there. And I just keep forcing that down until it goes over. Okay. This is how to use soap, you see that? Exactly. And then the soap helps get these marks off. Now it's time 
to get this tire fully on. I'm gonna take the machine, put it right there, drop it down. Actually, I'm gonna put it in a better location. So I'm gonna put the machine about right there. There we go. Rotate it. power assist on this baby. So after that, we'll release the inner clamp, lift the wheel up. So we'll hook up this. All right, here we go. We got air bleeding out and <laughs> it's airing up now. Check the pressure. I just like to get them up to 40, adjust them later. But for starters, I like to get them up to 40 PSI. So that one's up to 40. We're gonna release this. To release that, we will put the valve stem cap back on. So it's all pretty. And we will move on to taking the rest of this uh, dirty soapy water off. Just to keep it all nice and clean. Remove this dirty soap water. And from this point, we'll go ahead and place the wheel on the balancer. All right, so this wheel is balanced out to zero. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off and we're done. Here's a few pictures of the wheels in the daylight. Also, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share so I can have more content coming to you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. DFR Stance signing out.